Okay, well with that, welcome to uh, uh, downtown Livermore as we dedicate uh, our four new sculptures in the downtown. This has uh, been a long time process, as members of the Art Commission uh, can attest. But really, the, uh, uh, the, the public art and the fact that it's kinetic art, it adds to the quality of life. Uh, people have a, a moment to, uh, to stop, reflect on the art, because these are kinetic art sculptures. Uh, they move, and people like to see that motion and what's, what's going to happen next. So it's a, uh, uh, as I said, it's part of quality of life uh, in the downtown and just to encourage people to pause and reflect for a moment uh, on the quality of, of their lives uh, as they're improved uh, by enjoying art here in the, in the downtown. Uh, so with that, uh, the four sculptures we're dedicating are Peace, uh, which we're standing in front of right now. Uh, also we have uh, Tropic Birds, uh, Tada. Which, I, uh, which is both uh, moving and musical, uh, and Sunflower. Uh, we have uh, our poet laureate Cynthia Patton has written a poem uh, entitled Four Sculptures in Four Seasons, uh, which she'll be re reciting uh, later at each sculpture. Uh, I'd like to recognize uh, uh, the council members that helped me do this. Uh, nothing happens by, uh, uh, by anyone's self, so uh, council member Bob Coomber uh, is here today. Uh, Councilmember Bob Carling, and also not here, but uh, still providing tremendous support, uh, Vice Mayor Bob Warner uh, and Councilmember Steve Spadowski. We also have uh, the Commission for the Arts, which is responsible for this installation. Uh, we have Chairperson Manya Lane, <laughs> Vice Chair Bob Gossman, Anja Jahal, Sabrina Onimus, and Cher Wallard, former Commissioner Kara Johnson, and former Commissioner Kathy Streeter. Oh, and uh, Sally Dunlop as well. Uh, and Kathy Streeter was the chair who was responsible for these uh, sculptures uh, becoming a reality. Uh, it took so long, but it wasn't her fault. So, so what happened is the city issued a call to artists uh, two years ago and received 161 proposals. It uh, shows the credibility that this project uh, uh, fostered. Uh, the committee was comprised of Kathy Streeter, Angela Jahal, and Cher Wallard. They reviewed all 161 proposals and ultimately selected the top 10. Then there was a community review panel which evaluated those and provided their input. And the result are the four sculptures that we're going to see here today. Uh, the four artists were, that were selected out of the 96 were from all over the United States. Uh, Patricia Vader of Martinez did Sunflower. Stephen uh, Ryman of Yucca Valley did Tropic Birds. Uh, C.J. Ranch of Hood River, uh, Oregon did Tada. And Lori, Al, Lori Acott of Rev, Red River Feather Lakes, uh, Red, wow, Red Feather Lakes, I'll get it right, uh, Colorado uh, did Peace. Uh, 